We're back, 740 Today's Consumer Confidential with Thanksgiving just eight days away. The holiday travel season is kicking off in the coming days. We see the tree going up there. Well, the number of travelers passing through airports is expected to reach near pre-pandemic levels. So are the airlines, is the TSA, are they all ready to handle the rush? Administrator David Pekoski is with us now. He's at New York's LaGuardia Airport. Mr. Administrator, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Savannah. Good to see you, too. Well, it looks busy behind you. AAA put in its official forecast to expect long lines at the TSA checkpoints. Do you agree with that? Is it going to be a busy one? It's going to be busy. What I would say is that we're going to meet our throughput standards throughout the Thanksgiving holiday period. And for us, that's if you're a standard passenger, uh, you can expect to wait uh, 30 minutes or less on average. And if you're a pre-check passenger, generally 10 minutes, oftentimes five minutes or less. So, uh, you know, we measure things not by the length of the line necessarily, but by the wait uh, for passengers. Well, that would be uh, pretty speedy. I think people would be happy if that's the result you get. I read in some of the materials here that every available checkpoint will be operational. We've all been there when you stand in a long line and then you look over and there's a checkpoint that's empty and unstaffed. Are you saying that's not going to happen this holiday season and Thanksgiving? That won't happen this holiday season. I mean, uh, when you look at Thanksgiving holiday, for example, you mentioned it's, you know, it's about 10 days long. Uh, we can staff up and sustain uh, higher levels of staffing through that 10-day period. Where it gets harder for us is when you have like a 12-week summer travel period. That gets harder to do that. Yeah. Um, but we're ready. We're fully staffed uh, at the checkpoints for this coming holiday. Let's talk about security. Obviously, that is your main mission. A passenger got through security last mm -hmm. week with box cutters of all things. Needless to say, that is chilling, given that was the weapon of choice for the 9-11 hijackers. Do you believe that to be a one-off incident, or is there a larger security issue here to be addressed? No, my job is to make it a one-off incident. I've been in this position now for a little over five years. It's the first time a box cutter has gotten through our security process. So what we did is it's really all hands on deck when that happens. So Friday evening into Saturday, all of us trying to figure out, okay, what happened here and how do we close uh, this vulnerability? We've made some adjustments to our training and we've made some clarifications to our standard operating procedures. I'm very confident that, that this is a one-off and we aren't gonna see it again. I should mention. Uh, but what I would yeah. mention, Savannah, yeah. is that all the all these officers, uh, you know, you see the officers behind me. They do an incredible job. I mean, just this year, already this calendar year, we've detected uh, almost 6,000 firearms in our checkpoints, and so you know they they are always detecting uh, many of the items that we prohibit into the secure area of an airport. Yeah, as you well know, in your line of work, it's the one miss that gets attention, not the you know t tens mm -hmm. of thousands of times TSA agents do detect it. But let's talk about guns. You brought that up. The TSA is on track to set a record for guns found in carry-on bags at security checkpoints. Got to show the picture of this. Somebody tried to bring a gun in in a raw chicken. Now, how do you explain this? Why are people trying to bring guns onto airplanes? Well, you know, guns are not permitted on board airplanes unless you check them in your check baggage. Uh, and there are procedures for that. You've got to declare them to the airline and lock them uh, and separate the uh, ammunition. One of the very concerning things about the weapons that we uh, discover, the firearms, is that, you know, like, like you said, we're about to break a record. Um, the prior record was just last year, um, about 6,000. We're going to break that record this year without question, um, likely even this month. Uh, what we see, though, is that 87% of those firearms that we, te we detect are loaded. Um, so that presents a very significant security and safety concern. Would you like uh, to we're see We're doing the, everything yeah. we can. To, uh, let's sorry to interrupt. Would you yeah. like to see the to, penalty increase? Because it's a, it's a financial fine and it's a re criminal referral, but mm -hmm. do they need to up these penalties? People bringing loaded guns, trying to bring them onto an airplane? Yeah, that, that, that's something we are looking at, and, and we should have an announcement on that in the coming weeks. But, uh, yes, there is a penalty. The, 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 the fine is up to $14,000. Um, that's clearly not having the effect that we want it to have, and we do need to see the, the numbers of firearms come down substantially in the future. And finally, before I go, I know you've been advocating for a pay raise for your workforce. Uh, you argue that they are paid 30 percent less than other uh, federal employees. Are you hopeful this will pass? I know it's in the budget, the president's budget. Are you hopeful you're going to get that passed? 
Yeah, the president submitted it in the budget. Um, uh, it, it is critically important for TSA. And you can imagine if you're one of the screening officers like those behind me, and you know that your federal counterparts in any other federal agency in this government are making 30 percent more than you make, you're showing up for a shift at 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning, you have a national security position, and you can't fail uh, at that position. I, I think it's critically important that we provide fair pay. And we're not asking for anything more than what every other federal employee receives. Uh, this is all in the hands of the Congress at this point. The president put it in the budget. Uh, we're anxiously awaiting for the Congress's decision. Uh, what I would say, Savannah, and a big concern of mine is that should this not pass, uh, we're, we're, it's going to be increasingly hard for us to recruit people into TSA and very hard to retain the people that we do have uh, in the agency. And so that will have implications for this coming summer's travel. And so I would just urge the Congress to accept the president's request and pass it without delay. All right. Well, you've got some busy days ahead of you, TSA Administrator. Uh, Administrator, Mr. Pekoski, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Savannah. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.